All right, y'all. Welcome to Discussions with Auntie Faye, where I bring you a whole lot of tea and a little bit of honey. First I got married and money, then I fell in love with that dirty. First I got married and money, then I fell in love with that dirty. It's the new, it's the new, it's the new. The clip got a whole lot of third. I got my clicking. All right, never- so Cameron, Melissa Ford, Joe Budden. Let's get right into it. I already did a reaction video about uh, Queen Flip and Cameron reacting to the video. You guys can check out my reaction page at Auntie Faye Reacts. Um, I'll post the link in the bio. But let's get into this. So Joe Buddy replied back, responded back. And I don't think Joe was wrong for responding. I think Joe did exactly what he was supposed to do. Here's the thing. Melissa, what she insinuated was wrong. We all know that, right? But she was already checked by Joe, Ice, Ish, and Parks. She was already checked, right? Flip was in there. Now her mans in them, that New York slang, already checked there. I think Cameron was just already pissed off and Cameron just already don't like Joe with them. So he kind of went in, 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 in. Killer ain't nobody you mess with. But the media, honey, Twitter just ate her up. They were finding old pictures. They were linking her to everybody. It just became a hot mess. So was Joe wrong? I don't think Joe was wrong. I do think Joe had an agenda. I think that if Cameron... See, here's the thing, right? Joe went in. But Joe didn't really go in for Melissa. If y'all think he did... Y'all are sadly mistaken. Joe went in because Cameron said he hired washed up people and he got a dry clean over there because everybody that's washed. That's why Joe went in. Melissa thinks it was all about her, but that's not the case. Afford at the end of the day, you niggas be on Instagram liking the bad escorts going crazy. The cheap ones. Bitches be 50 and 500 pounds. You niggas in the comments writing shit. Stop playing with niggas up here. Honestly, I observe. I'm trying to be cool because niggas got relationships. But enough now. Enough. Because if it was really about Melissa and protecting Melissa, Joe, Ice, and Ish would have said something when Cameron first said he would, he would call immigration on her and call Ice. <laughs> but they didn't say anything. They actually told Cameron, thank you for not going all the way in because we know you can. Until Cameron then replied after Melissa's apology, forced apology, and said, everyone there is washed. That's what Joe is really upset about. I know everybody thinks that Joe actually had Melissa's back or ice initiated. It. it had nothing to do with her. Honestly, his statement kind of made Mel look bad. Called her an escort? He didn't call her an escort, but he compared it to an escort. You guys pay the escorts. Y'all pay for $50. They fat. They this. Something like And Cameron responded the proper way. So she's an expensive escort? You compared her to that? I think that Melissa should um, start her own podcast. I think she would succeed in that. I think that her podcast should be about the life of the vixens and have other vixens on the podcast. Could you imagine that? I would watch it. Wouldn't y'all watch that? A podcast with Melissa Ford and all these vixens come in there every episode, like, or have a few there. She, uh, Buffy the Body, even, uh, what, Brittany Renner. She's a vixen to me. All other vixens should come. It'd be a podcast of four, four to three to four women sitting there talking. So they can drop tea if they wanted to. Who they did and did not sleep with. Talk about women. And I think it would be a great idea. But does Melissa Ford have the confidence for that? We can say Mel is still Mel. She is. She looks great. But if you watch the podcast, sometimes they dog her on there. Like when, like when um, Joe was saying a story about how um, Mel got invited to a dinner. He didn't want her to go. And she looked a hot mess. She did her makeup at the table. Her wig was ridiculous. 
or the lace wig story he gave about Mel hit him up about the lace wig. She never contacted. He went and got her a wig. The fact that Joe is getting her a wig is insane. Should she start her own podcast? Most definitely. She should call it Mel and the Vixens. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Mel and the Vixens? I would totally watch it. Cam is an Aquarius. My dude is an Aquarius. My dude is in petty. I'm the petty one. I'm a Scorpio. Hello. I have the petty bone in me. I have the petty everything in me. I feel like Cam is plotting, y'all. I think Cam is plotting. I think Cam is waiting for the right time to hit the right moment. I think he got a couple of contracts to sign, a couple of people to deals to close. And once those deals are closed, he is hitting it hard. My last video, the video that you guys are going to see before this, flipped most definitely through Joe and Mel underneath the bus and then came back on the pod uh, and just cowered out, apologized to Mel. He looked bad. And I knew Joe was upset about what he did, that black and white video of him rapping to Cameron's song and and uh, telling him, you my man, and calling Mel out the way he did. <laughs> Please. If I was Mel, I, was, I would be planning my exit out. Exit out. And for some reason, I do believe Cam when he says, Stat Baby makes more than everyone there besides Joe. I don't know why I believe that. I believe it because Ish... And Flip always, they're always arguing about their contracts. Ish is low key not happy with his contract. Are we forgetting that? I don't know. I feel like they're just there for the moment. I mean, I'm, listen, I like the podcast. Sometimes it gets a little dull for me, but I like the podcast. Will it ever be like it was with Maul and, War- Maul and Worry? Uh, no, not really. Not really, but I like it though. It's a lot cleaner now. Before it was a bit dirty, a little, a little bit rough around the edges, but it's a lot cleaner now. And I think that uh, Joe is right. He is a dictator, 100% a dictator. And he has Ish, Ice. Oh, he has Flip and Mel by the, by the strings, honey, by the strings. I hope Mel needed her to become a citizen ASAP. Because if Cam gets her deported, that would be a hot fucking mess. I'm sure he couldn't. She would probably have to do something illegal or something. But Joe told Cam to sue. Go ahead and sue. Go ahead and sue. I guess he might not really have a case because all she did was insinuate. She didn't actually say it was the wrong, honey, to insinuate that, but... Mel should start her own podcast. I'll watch it. Would you? All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for listening. Please make sure you like and subscribe. All right. Love y'all.